Yo, welcome to Hustle TV. I'm your host, DJ Hustle. I'm here at the Comedy Store with the man, no myth, the legend, Esau McGraw. What's going on, Pam? Man, everything is everything. Man, every time we come in here, the house yeah. is full. Mm -hmm. You make people laugh. Mm -hmm. Your band's crazy. Mm -hmm. Off the hook crowd. Mm -hmm. How do you do it? Dude, uh, first of all, I just got to give them a quality show right. each and every Tuesday. Okay. So no matter if you come in here and it's not packed or if it's packed, you still get a hot, hot show. And it just kind of going viral. Like people are like, it's the hottest show in the city. Right. I mean, and like nobody has any excuses not to come through. The females are free before nine. You know what I mean? So they fucking, they love it. It's like <laughs> you can't get a show like this for free anywhere. No, no. You know what I mean? So, and we give them way more show than they get anywhere else. Now, I recently saw you at Chocolate Sundays. Mm -hmm. You do you work both rooms? No, no, I hosted Chocolate Sundays for four years. Okay. And uh, and this opportunity kind of fell in my lap. So then um, I took I took on the challenge. So I don't host Chocolate Sundays anymore. This is my primary room. So okay. I produce okay. it and I host it. Now, what what are the shortcomings of a comedian? I mean, you, you are big time. You are on a strip. Mm -hmm. I see cats in you know small venues, small sports bars. But you are in, are in this big room. Right. How'd you get here? Dude, uh, I hosted the smallest room for three and a half years. Okay. I hosted the Chocolate Sundays for three years. I used to be the DJ the first night at Comedy Union over on Pico. Oh, wow. I used to be the cameraman at Chocolate Sundays. I used to do camera work for stage time. Right. So I, I started all the way at the bottom. All the way at the bottom. I was The first TV that show I did was a big black comedy show volume one. Right. With Monique. Okay. And I had to win a comedy competition out of 60 comedians to get that spot. What? So, yeah. So, I've been here. I'm going to be here. I've been building and evolving, and I ain't going to stop. Now, now, when it comes to... You've been in movies. Mm -hmm. You've been on sitcoms. Mm -hmm. What's the antidote to Esau? What do you mean the antidote? You stir the pot. Oh, like the ingredients? Being yeah. well-rounded? Yes. You know, I get it in with the band. I sing with the band. I do comedy on a high level. I act, you know what I mean? But you know, you gotta prepare yourself for that stuff like that, you know what I mean? So I, I work out with the band, you know what I mean? I've been in acting classes, improv classes, been doing stand-up for a long time on a high level. So, you know, I put in the work. Yes. I put yes. in the work. Now, you, you're doing comedy all over the place. Mm -hmm. What do you wanna do next? Acting, Where do you wanna go? Movies. Tell them what you Acting in movies. You see me in Idlewild. I played the slow dude who stuttered. I was in David E. Towers, where my husband doesn't know, with Morris Chestnut and Brown White and uh, Michelle Williams and Ann Nesby and all them people. I played the 85-year-old man. I played Clifton Davis' father. I played the 85-year-old man in that play for 11 months. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's playing characters, you know what I'm saying? Getting in movies and all that stuff, man. And that's what that's where I'm going. TV shows. Okay. All that. Now, what does it take to like go get comics across the country, man? I mean, you funny by yourself. Mm -hmm. You can do a whole room for hours. Mm -hmm. Now, you have an arsenal of comedians because like the, the ones here tonight was mm -hmm. off the hook. Right. How do you? What's the, the whole method behind getting great comics? I mean, to come hang out with your. Those are my brothers. Okay. We in the trenches together. Right. I've been working with these dudes for years. All right. You know what I mean? So I get an opportunity, I make it our opportunity. Okay. I say I got people here. It's a hot room. Come get some. You know what I mean? They support me out of respect, you know what I mean? Out of ability, you know what I'm saying? We inspire each other. These dudes I've been dealing with. I have hot, hot comics from around the country that everybody knows, and then I got the hottest comics I'm introducing to you that you didn't know that was even there. Right. And they're some of the funniest dudes in the country. Okay. You know what I mean? They haven't had the opportunity yet, but this is part of our opportunity. Cause okay. I ain't been on no big tours. I ain't been a regular on no TV show. Right. I ain't been in no big blockbuster movies. You know what I'm saying? It's but I hold it down though every week. You you move the crowd like an MC. You yeah. come, you come out singing, come with your swag, the band playing behind you, you got the DJ up there getting it in. You do like a theatrical play. Yeah. So I'm liking what I'm saying. Man, I gotta do it like that because ain't nobody doing it like that. No. You know what I'm saying? And part of making it is making history. Okay. So I'm I'm carving my own path out. Ain't nobody doing it like I'm doing it. Nobody. Man, I've seen so many different comedy shows, so many different comedy tours, mm -hmm. and yours is probably the best that I've seen. Man, I appreciate it. Man, keep going, Esau McGraw. Man, give out your Facebook. We're, about, you check we're you evolving. Out. Esau McGraw, everything. Esau McGraw on Facebook, at Esau McGraw on Twitter. 
Esau underscore McGraw on Instagram. Everything is Esau McGraw. Just Google it and it'll come up. Comedy store, Tuesday nights. My man right here, Esau, is going down. Super Tuesdays. Peace.